Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Today, we appreciate the beauty and importance of the Blessed Virgin Mary's Assumption, body and soul, into the glory of heaven. Our Lady's Assumption shows us our own destiny as God's children and members of the body of Christ. And like our Mother Mary, we are called to share in Christ's victory over sin and death and reign with Him in His eternal kingdom. Let us recount the message from Angel Gabriel announcing God's plan to Mary as we sing the Angelus, which for us is a daily reminder to call to mind God's love. We also see and imitate Mary's example of openness to God's will. Angelus Domini, Nuncia Vit Maria, Et Concepit, De Spiritu Santo. Ave Maria, gratia plena Dominus Tecum, Benedita tu in mulieribus, Et benedictus fructus ventris tu, Iesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre, Amen. Ave Maria, grazie. 
invite each of you to draw one or more ways in which you see God working in your life and in the world around you today. Let us pause for some time while we reflect on this. Now let us use these prayers of thanksgiving to create a song of praise to God, just like Mary did in the Magnificat. Allow the words of our mother to speak to us from her heart. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit Choices in God, my Savior, for He has done great things for me, and holy is His name. His mercy extends to all who fear Him from one generation. To the next, the humble he exalts, but the proud he casts down, and the hungry he fills with good things. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices.
our mother was always aware of God's presence, letting her love for God be the driving force behind every decision. Before God, she knew she was nothing more or nothing less, ready at any moment to lay down her life to follow God's call without fearing the consequences. She constantly asked God's Spirit to guide her, keeping her heart clean and unstained by sin, always radiating joy and peace to everyone she encountered. She always trusted in God's plan for her. Mary's virtues are like the rays of a star enlightening our paths and inviting us to be inspired and guided by her glorious example on our earthly pilgrimage. Let us humbly place our petitions before our Holy Mother. O Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Grace, Hope of the World, we trust in your intercession for our prayers. Obtain from your Divine Son our special requests, if it be God's will, and we humbly ask you to bestow on us the gifts from the riches of your graces. Hear us, your children, who cry unto thee. Thank you. 
this feast of Our Lady's Assumption, let us raise our hearts to the throne of Mary in heaven, chanting the Salve Regina, expressing our belief in her power to assist us in our necessities. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulce Do, Et Spes Nostra Salve, A Te conclude this service by reciting a prayer written by our Holy Father, Pope Francis, to Our Lady. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, in the present tragic situation when the whole world is prey to suffering and anxiety. We fly to you, Mother of God and our Mother, and seek refuge under your protection. Virgin Mary, turn your merciful eyes towards us amidst this coronavirus pandemic. Comfort those who are distraught and mourn their loved ones who have died and at times are buried in a way that grieves them deeply. Be close to those who are concerned for their loved ones who are sick and who in order to prevent the spread of the disease cannot be close to them. Fill them with hope, those who are troubled by the uncertainty of the future and the consequences for the economy and employment. Mother of God and our Mother, pray for us to God, the Father of mercies, that this great suffering may end and that hope and peace may dawn anew. Plead with your divine son as you did at Cana so that the families of the sick and the victims be comforted and their hearts be opened to confidence and trust. Protect those doctors, nurses, health workers and volunteers who are on the front line of this emergency and are risking their lives to save others. Support their heroic efforts and grant them strength, generosity and continued health. 
Be close to those who assist the sick night and day. And to priests who in their pastoral concern and fidelity to the gospel are trying to help and support everyone. Blessed Virgin, illumine the minds of men and women engaged in scientific research that they may find effective solutions to overcome this virus. Support national leaders that with wisdom, solicitude and generosity they may come to the aid of those lacking the basic necessities of life and may devise social and economic solutions inspired by far-sightedness and solidarity. Mary Most Holy, steer our consciences so that the enormous funds invested in developing and stockpiling arms will instead be spent on promoting effective research on how to prevent similar tragedies from occurring in the future. Beloved Mother, help us realize that we are all members of one great family and to recognize the bond that unites us so that in a spirit of fraternity and solidarity we can help to alleviate countless situations of poverty and need. Make us strong in faith, persevering in service, constant in prayer. Mary, consolation of the afflicted, embrace all your children in distress and pray that God will stretch out his all-powerful hand and free us from this terrible pandemic so that life can serenely resume its normal course. To you who shine on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope, do we entrust ourselves. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Amen.
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 